What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. As you can see by the title below, this is going to be a pick a card. Um, it's going to just be mixed messages again, meaning um, I'm going to use three different decks. So it's going to be three different piles. Each pile will be completely different. Um, for pile one is going to be what is the gossip on you. And I'm going to be using the Modern Witch Tarot deck for pile one. Pile two will be more so um, who's crushing on you. And I'm going to use the um, Golden Foil <laughs> Tarot, which looks like this. And then pile three will be who literally just wants to speak to you, who wants to have a conversation with you. And I'll be using the Clarity Tarot deck, okay? So for pile one, who's gossiping about you? I know it's a lot. And then for pile two, I got the full tarot. And then lastly, for pile three, will be the Clarity Tarot, okay? So it don't even matter which order you go in, guys. Again, pile one will be the gossip on you. Pile two will be who's crushing on you. And then pile three will literally be who just wants to speak to you, okay? I do hope you guys find these messages um, useful for you guys. And I do hope they resonate in any way, shape, or form that they're supposed to for you. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So if you chose <laughs> if you chose pile one, the modern witch tarot, this is your reading, okay? We're just going to be figuring out what is the gossip on you, all right? What are people saying? What is the gossip on you, pile one, okay? I hope you guys are again healthy i hope you guys are staying healthy i hope you guys are staying safe um and i hope you guys are really really happy i'm in a good mood honestly i um, really can't complain about much so i just hope you guys are feeling feeling good feeling good about yourself today <laughs> but yeah for power one this is the gossip i'm gonna shuffle one more good time for us for good luck for you for us for us um for you guys and then let's just get right into it i'm talking way too much People can feel like you talk too much <laughs> with the Seven of Cups coming out. What is the gossip on my power lines? What is the gossip? What is the gossip? You could have blonde hair, long blonde hair as well. You could also like witches. You could have been a witch for Halloween. You got the Four of Pentacles coming out along with the Chariot card. You got the Page of Swords. You also have the King of Cups coming out. Heavy Pisces energy. You also have um, Scorpio and uh, Pisces, of course. Heavy Cancer energy, though. With the Nine of Wands coming out. <laughs> what is the gossip on my pile? With the star. <laughs> what is the gossip on my pile? Yeah, with the Page of Cups coming out and the Death. Heavy Scorpio energy as well. Um, the gossip, honestly, when you with the Ten of Cups at the bottom, pile one, is that um, you're no longer pouring energy into useless or dead in situations. I feel like um, people feel like you have transformed. You are no longer somebody who you used to kind of like be. Because um, with the Seven of Cups, I feel like people feel like you have won a lot of options in life, but also in love. I didn't get any sort of like... Um, cards besides like the ten of cups and the king of cups um really pertaining towards like love or like emotions but it's like yeah people feel like you have a lot of love to give and that you are filled with emotions whether you are a man or a woman with this king of cups um i feel like you're being selfish with it and i feel like people feel like you have every right to be um some people though with the nine of wands um literally looking right at it the uh, king of cups some people could feel like you are you've learned a lot or you've learned something in particular that has pro not because i don't want to say in a way to where it's like it's almost like a cause and effect to where it's like now you're just like this heartless being because i honestly the gossip is that you're not like the gossip is like people know you are somebody who is filled with emotions somebody who does not mind sharing their emotions someone who does not mind giving to another person but it's like people are seeing and feeling that you are no longer doing that like you are no longer pouring again like i said before into useless situations into situations or people who that are going to lead you nowhere people feel like you get a lot of attention you're very healing to people with the star could definitely be um an aquarius as well these are if these people aren't younger they're they're way less mature than you with both the page of swords and the page of cups like these are people who don't even they're they're just not mature with the three of pentacles coming out this could even be like people you've worked with these could be like childhood friends like these are people who you weren't once collaborated with went over to see them like these are people who once 
was able to like get into your energy get your ideas as well like people feel like you're very creative like the guys are the you're you're a very cool individual with the moon i feel like people yeah it's you're mm, people the gossip is people see you as almost like a, a mystery like people don't know ever really it's like you could talk to people and really allow them like you could tell people how you feel um or express different things but it's something where it's like people feel like you only express like surface like people feel like there's so much more to you like you could explain how you feel about something or a certain situation but people feel like once you're done talking there's way more there's so much more that you didn't express like i don't know what that's about heavy cancer and pisces energy though especially with the moon that was just at the bottom literally the three of cups these are definitely probably friends people you pull back from or no longer just communicate with at all with the five of swords it's almost like these people are almost like i don't know especially if you pulled away from people it's like people are starting to realize literally people are starting to realize like they didn't they did take you kind of like they took mermaids could be significant as well you could really you're just filled with a lot of emotion and people is almost like an energy where it's like people feel like they could have took your loving and kind energy for like granted i'm getting um for granted by lauren um spencer smith i would definitely listen to that but um yeah what's the gossip on my power ones you could definitely be some sort of empath with the three of wands yeah, it's like people are gossiping, saying like you 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 want better, you're yearning for better, um, more deeper like type of like connections with the page of pentacles. Yeah, these people are immature. Again, with the page, well, a lot of pages, all the pages now, the page of swords, cups, pentacles, and the page of wands at the bottom. These people, um, they almost feel like you are even like disinterested in a lot of different things. And them, it's it's about people. <laughs> Like, the gossip is how you view people, I feel like. And it's almost like, because it's not even in a bad thing where people feel like you're on a high horse. But it's almost one of those things. Like, people put you on a pedestal. And I feel like it's because you put yourself on this pedestal or you're going to. Like, people, literally with the Ten of Cups. <laughs> and the Magician. I honestly say, at least right now, people don't have anything. It's nothing but positive things if anything so far what's the um what's the gossip on my power ones with the hierophant this could even be like in a workplace you want more i feel like and people are gossiping about that you want more in life you want more of an job wow people feel like you're very wise with the world like you're all knowing like you're some sort of teacher you could be a teacher but people can even um gossip and say like you are some sort of teacher some sort of guide to other people as well people feel like you're very uplifting it's what you speak. Um, Taurus energy with the uh, Hierophant. Yeah, with the Two of Pentacles coming out. What's the Two of Pentacles? You could like to dye your hair as well. You could have long black hair as well. Literally, long black hair with the Queen of Pentacles coming out at the bottom of the deck. Literally, with the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, and it's something about people approaching you. It's like, people can't approach you hot and heavy. Like, people feel like that turns you off immediately. Like, if people are coming towards you, like, and the first thing they say is something, like, sexual towards you, it kind of makes you uncomfortable, and you are quick to dead that as well. With the Everything is Fine card and the Knight of Wands. But people, oh, goodness, you are, people find you to be very attractive. Um... And it's almost like people know once they cross you, like, emotionally, like, some, it's a gossip about, like, one, like people, it's almost like people know once they, like, hurt you emotionally, there's, like, no access granted to you again. With the King of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. And it's like you're almost... People are also gossiping, like, you could have been somebody who was very lustful. Like, let's be honest, it's the real world, things happen. Um, and that could have been that transformative, like, type of energy. People feel like you're not lustful anymore as well. Like, it's harder to get to you now. Like, you're not in a lustful energy anymore. Um, things that used to excite you just doesn't. Just doesn't. You could be a Capricorn, Taurus, and or a Virgo. What is the gossip on my pile ones? Literally, with the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands coming out. 
These could be people who were in relations with you in the past, people who could have just been connected to you in the past, people you could have lived with, especially if you had like roommates, you lived with like family members. There's something significant about walks. You could have walked with a um, significant person from time to time. There's something about somebody remembering walks you and um, them used to take with the Six of Wands. People really want backing your energy bad with the Five of Wands at the bottom. And I feel like you're not even realizing this. Could be a Leo. What is the gossip on my pile? Ones. People see you as very successful. They even see, literally, with the Ten of Pentacles, they even, people are even gossiping about the fact that they see you in a very high vibrating type of commitment. Like, people see you as a husband or a wife with kids. Like, people see you in a loving, fulfilling type of relationship. They do. What is the gossip on my power wands? With the Ten of Wands coming out? What's the Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands? What's the gossip? What's the Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands? The Five of Cups. With the Seven of Swords. With the Seven of Wands coming out and the Will of Fortune. All right. So there could even be a thing where... I wouldn't be completely honest because I was going to say this could be work, but I definitely do feel like there could be a chance where there could be like family members. I don't know. I hate being like, oh, family, because sometimes it's weird. Nah, never mind. Either way, I feel like there could be a chance where there could be family members or a family member who is a little bit upset um, about where your life is like heading. Um, it's almost one of these things where somebody could be envious with the seven of swords at the because i don't feel like this is somebody even if this person does try to do things to affect you your livelihood it's not anything that they do up front like whoever this is this person could be deemed as like sneaky i guess in the way i'm not getting any sort of like real real bad energy but i guess this person could be labeled as i guess sneaky um or even just weird for even thinking like this in my opinion but i feel like you do have a family member who like i said is jealous of where your life is heading um it's almost like this person can see that you will have again a beautiful type of life or what they deem is beautiful um yeah this person is just especially with the will of fortune like they see you going places and it's their they with the empress could be a taurus libra with it's like this person whoever they that's this the gossip is that you are a catch you are somebody who people view as husband wife material or somebody who needs to be taken very seriously when it comes to dating or just in general on like you are somebody who needs to be respected um mainly because you you give out that mutual risk like it's no reason to disrespect someone who isn't being disrespectful like you walk with your head held high type of energy with the hermit coming out in the justice and it's almost like you don't speak in unless that's yeah with the four like you don't move unless and that's the people wow mm. it's a very leader type of energy with the world these even be people online viewing you this but like you you have an unspoken type of like you don't even have to do much um you have an unspoken sort of like power about you and i feel like people are gossiping about that because people realize that people know that and they also, feel, I feel like the gossip also is like they know that you're being followed. And not even in a weird way, like you have a presence about you that's not just yours. Like people I feel like are scared to like mess with you. Like people feel like you definitely are watched. You're, you're, you're blessed. You're protected as well. You're very watched though. I feel like it's something about being watched over with the strength. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, with the strength. Could definitely be a Leah. Somebody could even be blocked. You could be even be staying away from this individual, whoever these people. Yeah, with the two of us, you are not confused. I don't know. People feel like you are a blessing to the I don't know. This is some very good and this is some very good uplifting positive type of energy, to be honest with you. With the ten of swords ending it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, pal. <laughs> Who are you? With the eight of pentacles. Yeah, with the world, the Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles, you're not putting, I don't know. It's something about you not putting in more work than other people anymore at this point. Like, people just know 
you have to be met with a certain type of energy to even want to entertain people or anything. But part one, that was your reading, okay? That was the gossip on you. I hope you guys um, enjoy the reading. I hope the messages help in any way, shape, or form. And I even just hope the messages resonate with you guys the way that they were supposed to, okay? And until next time, I'll see y'all. Bye. What's up, guys? So if you chose um, Pow 2, which is the gold foil tarot, um, which looks just like this, this is your reading, okay? We're just going to see who's crushing on you, okay? Um, bear with me. These cards are a little slippery, um, hence why I haven't used them until today. But um, yeah, just bear with me because these are slippery and I'm going to do my best. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope the messages resonate for you guys in any way, shape, or form that they're supposed to. I hope you guys are staying healthy. I hope you guys are staying um. I don't even know, clean, good. <laughs> I hope you guys are well, honestly. But um, I'm going to shuffle the deck for two more times for y'all. And then, yeah, we're just going to jump right into who is crushing on you, okay? Enjoy. <clears throat> so for my pile twos, who's crushing on my pile twos? <laughs> who's crushing on my pile twos? So right off the back, we have the six of swords. And the four of pentacles was flipped over. Who's crushing on my power twos? You have the tower card coming out. Whoever this person is, they're they're with the ace of pentacles wanna come out in reverse. I'm not gonna take reverses. Is this whole thing in reverse? No, the strength isn't in reverse. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the ace of pentacles in reverse, but I am gonna read the message out because I feel somebody whoever's crushing you, they've been guided towards you though. I feel like this person is going through something. Yeah, literally with the chariot coming out. Who's crushing on my pile twos? Who's crushing on my pile twos? With the emperor wanting to come out in reverse? Who's crushing on my pile twos? Wow, literally, you got the empress coming out next. And you also have the two of pentacles. Hmm. With the world, literally. Um, whoever is crushing you, they are departing, I feel like, from a situation. Um, whether this is a man or a woman, whether you are attracted to a man and or woman. Um, this person is moving away from somebody who... This person could have been married, um, engaged with this emperor and empress. This person, these people could even have like kids together um, or finances together. Um these people built some sort of life together with the emperor and the empress coming out. They built some sort of, again, so just some sort of life together. But I feel like things are, whoever is crushing on you, they're being guided towards you. What's this emperor and the empress though? You got Aries energy, um, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra with the 10 of wands coming out. Yeah, and the king of wands. This person could definitely be a fire sign in Aries. Um, in specific, or this person could be, again, a Sagittarius or a Leo. Yeah, this person is, what's the Ten of Wands and the King of Wands? Who's crushing on my pile? Literally, with the lovers coming out in reverse. I'm not going to take the reverse, of course, but this person could even be a Gemini. Um, or there could be some communication that is about to come in for you. Um... I feel like especially with the lover's card, because the lover's card does talk about like teaching and learning, learning and teaching. I feel like this person is learning a lesson right now. Um, and then once they that lesson, I feel like is learned um, this, and this person is free to do what they please. I feel like this person will heal. I didn't get the star card, but I feel like there will be some sort of healing that this person will need to go through. And I feel like within that healing, this person could honestly even be from the past with the six of cups coming out. Um, doesn't have to be because it is in reverse. Um, so this could be somebody that isn't from your past, but this could even be somebody from your past who, mm -hmm, who you don't even really feel that sort of like emotion for. But either way, um, I because I don't really feel like this is somebody from your past. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not really even getting that type of energy, but I do feel like this person is going again through some sort of like growing period. Because I feel like this person right now is a king of wands and whoever they got with they thought this person was going to put them more in the emperors like this, whoever this person is they were with someone who they they thought or somebody who came across as if like they were about to be a power couple or they kind of put on that type of facade because i'm feeling like this person they that's not true that's not the situation 
Because with the tower, that ace of pentacles wanting to come out in reverse, and then you got the ten of like this person is in like a struggle type of love. Like there's no power dynamic in any of this, I feel like. And this person is stressed out about that. Who's crushing on my um power twos? Who's crushing on my power twos? I wouldn't say this person is unhappy, but they are unhappy with like their circumstances, like who they're with, where they're at. Like this person, yikes. Literally with the two of cups coming out and you got the knight of wands in reverse coming to come out. This person, there's no, yeah, and the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck in reverse. I feel like. Because this is talking about the person that's actually crushing on you. I feel like this person, this was a, this could have been like a soul tie that this person was like in. Um, This could have been a situation where these two people did have a lot of, it was a lot of passion. I feel like a lot of lust and I feel like this person both of these people got confusing and i feel like they ran with it until they couldn't run with it anymore like i don't know what's the two of cups with the knight of wands who's crushing on my power of twos what's the two of cups with the knight of wands who's crushing on my power of twos now i'm not gonna come out <laughs> who's crushing on my power of twos yeah with the death a lot is coming out in reverse could definitely be a Scorpio. I feel like, yeah, that situation, whoever's crushing on you, they're being guided towards you. With the moon coming out in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Heavy Scorpio, can even cancer type of energy with the chariot out already with the moon in reverse. This person doesn't want to, they're not going to want to hold back from you. I feel like once they meet you in this person, I feel like they're going to tell you a lot of the things that they've been through. And if not everything, they're going to tell you like what they deem most important or what they deem like really shape them into the person that they will be once they come across you or once they really start to open up towards like this person is going to let you know something like but i feel like this person is scarred like this is somebody who's been through something to where it's like they look at people differently or situations that like this person this person could have been very flashy with the king like because the king of wands is like somebody who is very attractive um or people or who and then with the emperor like this person yeah, this person could have been very, like, um, materialistic, I feel like, at one point in time. And I feel like they ran into somebody who was just equally as, like, materialistic. Um, and I feel like these two people, like, they got together on means of, like, wanting to look the part. Like, I feel like these two people did very, very well of, like, looking the part. Like, very well. Like, these two people, prob they looked very good at playing, like, the role of being a power couple. But there was no growth in this. Like, there was no type of growth. Like, there was more money probably going out than actually coming in. Like, there was just some sort of breakdown to this um, connection that the person that was crushing on you was in. Who's crushing on my pile? Twos. Yeah, you got the Knight of Swords coming out in reverse with the Magician. And you got the Ten of Swords wanting to come out. Also in reverse. <laughs> you could know this person. Like, you could have even met, like, yeah, with the Three of Pentacles. Because I, I wanted to say it could. this could have been a third party and this person chose somebody over you. But I don't even think that could have been the case. But I also could have felt like you met someone while they were in a relationship. And instead of being the third party something could have transpired where the two of y'all broke apart like y'all just stopped speaking for whatever reason y'all could have been friends like whatever the case even had been this person if they already know you they're ready to dead whatever situation like if they just have somebody attached to them they are ready to they like it's a annoyance like this person is ready to this person could even be treating this person that they're connected to very poorly with the knight of swords the magician and the ten of swords coming out on the two of pentacles like, this person could even be juggling this person. Like, this person's being blatantly almost disrespectful, disrespectful, possibly. Who's crushing on my pile of twos? Who's crushing on my pile of twos? Literally with the sun in reverse. This could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. This person isn't happy. And I feel like something was exposed to this, but this person, oh my goodness. I'm hearing like, oh, happy day. Like with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this person, they're with someone who is unstable. 
with the queen of pentacles in reverse. They could definitely be with someone who isn't stable or who just isn't as stable as they pretended to be with the devil. And the knight of cups coming out at the bottom with the page of swords. Yeah, this person, mm -mm. especially if this person knows you, they want to come to Whoever this person is, they want to come to You could even be a Capricorn, a uh, Taurus or a Virgo. With that Queen of Pentacles, literally. And the King of Pentacles now coming out in reverse. Um, but of course, I'm not taking them. I feel like this person, you could definitely be a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo. And somebody definitely wants to come towards you. This person views you as someone who is financially abundant or just abundant in general. Um, and this person also, this person could even want to come towards you in a King of Pentacles type of energy. Like, this person wants to shower you with things, like gifts, opportunities, pregnancy. Like, I don't know. When I looked at the card, the little pinnacle made me think of, like, a pregnancy. Like, this person wants to, if you're able, like, to get you pregnant, have a family with the Ten of Cups. Like, this person wants to shower you, not only just with things, but with love, with the Ten of Like, this person, oh, happy day <laughs> with the Page of Swords. I feel like this person definitely does... They watch you um, or view you in any way, shape, or form that they can if they know you. Yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Judgment coming out. I feel like this person, they, it's like, mm, like if this person knows you, it was like all they, it was almost like love at first sight for this person with the Judgment and the Nine of Pentacles. And this person knows they can't come towards you until they are single. Like, it's something, like if this person knows you, they they, they are not trying to approach you with whoever this is behind them. They're not. Like, if you know someone and you two are not speaking and you know they have someone or however the case may be, they're not going to come towards you until this at least is cleared out. Like, they don't, they're annoyed by whoever this is. Whoever this energy is that is attached to another person that's crushing on you, possibly, they're annoyed. Like, they're annoyed. They're annoyed. Who's crushing on my pile? Twos. Who's crushing my pile too? <clears throat> okay. Because you know they're sliding everywhere. <clears throat> my fault, y'all. Give me one second. One second. Who's crushing my pile? Special on my power too. With the strength and the will of fortune. Could definitely be some sort of Leo. Yeah, with the full at the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants an opportunity with you. Whoever this energy is. And I feel like, again, with the strength, the will of fortune, the judgment, and the nine of pentacles, I feel like this person. Even if you don't know who this person is, I feel like like <laughs> And this person is just crushing on you. Like the two of y'all can know each other through past. And like whoever this individual is, they there could be a thing where they are kind of blocking themselves from this opportunity um, with you or at least coming towards you to let themselves like be known. Because it's either like they feel like. They have to wait literally with the full at the bottom. Like they have to wait. This person feels like they have to wait. They can't rush in until they're single. I feel like, yeah, with the six, they can't give to this situation. It's like they don't, yeah, with the high priest at the bottom. Like, I feel like this person is listening to their, even with the high priest at the bottom, like this person is listening to their intuition. I feel like this person is, oh, 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 with the seven of wands at the bottom. What's the six of pentacles? You got Pisces energy with the high priestess in reverse. That was at the bottom of the deck. What's the six of pentacles? You got the two of yeah, with the two of wands when they come out of verse and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, this person, they're not trying to give to two people. Like if that person, if this person juggled you once before, like this person could be learning lessons about like third parties, giving or just giving to more than one person. Like they're being like depleted financially. Like this person is learning lessons. Literally with the justice coming, they're getting karma. Especially financially. Who's crushing on my pile? Twos. 
kind of a few more cards for this question. But the Queen of Swords coming out. You could definitely be a, um, it came out in a struggle position. It, it came out, um, in a, wow, with the Seven of Swords. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get everything to get there. Um, even if you, you don't have to be, um, a Libra Aquarius and or Gemini. Um, but either way, your energy, they just, <laughs> no nonsense. No nonsense. Like, literally, no nonsense. Like, this person just feels like you you won't even give them the time of day if they come towards you with nonsense. Like, there's not even, I ain't even about to force anything else to come out. Because literally, the Queen of Swords, a bitch. Like, this person, <laughs> the, whoever is crushing on you, they feel like, if provoked, you could be a bitch. Whether you are a man or like you, not even just that. They feel like you're almost like poetic justice. Like even the way you speak, you articulate your words in a way to where it's like you could say the most sophisticated thing or something so rude, but put it in a way to where like when it makes sense, it comes off like. Like, this person, whoever this is, they know that, mm-mm, mm, -mm. mm, -mm. Like, they know they can't meet you with nonsense. They know they can't put you in third parties. They know, like, because they lose. Like, this person, they just know, like, I can't. And I feel like that's what attracts them, though, 10 times more towards you. That you know your worth, I feel like, honestly. Like, whoever this person was dealing with was, like, a counterfeit you. Like, even if you don't know this person yet, the moment they meet, the moment somebody meets another person, whew, it's like the way they are going to look at whoever they are with at that particular time is crazy. Like, this person. Mm. Can I get a few more last cards for who's crushing on my power too? Who's crushing on my power too? Whoa. With the four ones. <laughs> And the hangman at the bottom. I Again, I feel like this is paused with the hangman at the bottom. I feel like this person is clearing things out. But again, with the six of swords being the first card, this person is being guided towards you. And then with the chariot card coming out, I feel like they will. I feel like they will. Could be a Pisces with the hangman at the bottom of the deck. Pow 2, that was your reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I hope that... um. The messages were useful for you guys in any way, shape, or form. And yeah, with that being said, until next time, guys, bye. What's up, Power 3? <laughs> um, we saved the best for last, I guess, right? Um, but Power 3, if you chose the Clarity Tarot, this is your reading, okay? We're just going to tap into the energy of literally who just wants to speak to you, okay? We're going to um, tap into the energy of who wants to speak to you and possibly what do they want to, like, say? Um... Yeah, I'm going to literally read out anything and everything I see for you guys. I do hope that the messages resonate for you guys in any way, shape, or form. That they are supposed to. And I hope the messages are useful, of course, okay? Hope you guys are staying um, well. I hope you guys are healthy. And yeah, with that being said, let's get right into this, okay? <laughs> Enjoy. Who wants to speak or talk to my pal threes? Who wants to speak or talk to my pal threes? You got the Knight of Wands coming out. Who wants to speak to my power three? You have the Knight of Cups with the Page of Swords. Who wants to speak to my power three? You also have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Four of Wands. You also have the Six of Pentacles. Who wants to speak to my pal? Threes. You also have the Two of Swords. Who wants to speak to my pal? Three. You also have the Four of Cups. It was two that came out with the Three of Cups. So this could be a friend. Somebody with the Page of um, Wands at the bottom. This could be a friend. This could either be someone who um, 
feels like something is a missed opportunity with you. Um, this could even be somebody you rejected or vice versa. This person could have once rejected you. Um, but I'm not really getting much of that energy too much. I really feel like who wants to speak to you is somebody who wants to collaborate with you. Like this is somebody who wants to come towards you, not even just speak to you. Um, this person, they're not like in love, but they do find you attractive with the Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. Like they find you to be attractive so much so that they feel like for whatever reason they will get like turned down with the four of cups because i feel like this person this person finds you to be very very um attractive what's the four of wands who wants to speak to my pile three what's the four of wands with the ace of cups this person <laughs> this person finds you to be attractive this person finds you to ugh. Not uh, like in a bad way, but I feel like this is a crush with the Emperor at the bottom. Like this is somebody who's actually pile too, <laughs> but I don't know. Whoever wants to speak to you, this is somebody who's actually really crushing on you. Um, I know it's supposed to be who's talking to you because pile two was either way, right? This is somebody who has some sort of like love for you. Who's who wants to talk to my pile threes? With the Eight of Swords coming out and the Six of Swords. The Emperor still at the bottom. This is somebody who feels like they can't move on from you. With the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords. They tried. With the Six of Pentacles. Then you got the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords. This person tried to move on from you, but they can't. I feel like this person even tried to not speak to you. But I feel like even if they are continuing... Like, if this is somebody who... Like, so far, the beginning is resonating with you, and it's... I don't even know how to put this into words, but I feel like there could be a possibility that somebody thought, like, grass was greener on the other side, and I feel like this person, whoever this is, they're realizing that it isn't. They could even want to reconcile with you. That could be what that Four of Cups is. Like, this person knows that it's going to be, like, hard to kind of get back into your energy, if at, if at if, even if at all, um, depending on how they left you. But yeah, this person tried to move on or tried to stop speaking to you. But I'm telling you that they they can't. Who wants to speak to my pile of threes? Who wants to speak to my pile of threes? What's the two of swords? Who wants to speak to my pile of threes? What's the indecision with the ace of swords? Bring you some sort of truth. I feel like whoever wants to speak to you, they have... they. There could be a possibility that this person has to speak some sort of truth. Like, I don't know what this person did with the eight of wands at the bottom. Um, I feel like this person is getting downloads to do so. They're getting downloads to, like, kind of rush towards you. Like, this is the right thing to do. Like, coming towards you is the right thing. Coming to talk to you is the right thing to do. I feel like this person is getting hit with messages to come towards you. Um... What's the Ace of Swords? Who wants to talk to my pal threes? What's the Ace of Swords? What is this? What's the Ace of Swords? And my pal threes who wants to talk to my pal threes. What's the Ace of Swords? And my pal threes. What's the Ace of Swords? No. The Seven of Wands. the five of swords this person could have put you in like some sort of like competition this person is guarded they're guarded this person could even be getting like questioned about something as well or this person knows you're going to have like i don't know this is somebody whoever wants to speak to you they know they're going to have to like clear some things up with the five of swords still at the bottom what's this ace of cups who wants to speak to my with the two of cups coming out in the moon, this is somebody who secretly, possibly really does love you. And just, like, if some, and this person, there could be a thing that somebody possibly didn't even tell you that they loved you or how much that they actually did care about you or love you. Like, this could be a friend that just never even told you how they felt. This could be somebody that played games with you, but yet, I don't know. This is somebody who just, they did not tell you how much they really, really love and care. Like, this is love and, like, genuine care. Like, this is somebody who 
you, they watch TV and you lay your head on their like this is love like this is compassion I feel like that somebody feels for her another person and it's just not telling them I also feel like there could be a thing where the two of y'all y'all are completely like polar opposites but y'all mesh so well together and I, can, I feel like that can throw somebody off as well like there's a difference but yet it's like y'all two are like, this person feels like the two of y'all are connected, like solely though. Like, look at the moon. Like this person, oh my goodness, I can't even get the card up. Like, I don't know. I don't even know how to really put into words how I'm feeling right now. Like this person, there's like some deep, like compassion though. Like there's care. Like this person wants to be gentle with you. Oh my goodness. Whoever this person is, they want to tell you the truth about how they really feel about you. Could be a Cancer, Pisces. With the King of Swords. Could even be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or even a Leo with the Sun. This person wants to... It was a one under that with the Page of Pentacles. This person with the King of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, this person wants to give you the truth. I feel like somebody has possibly even made you think that they weren't attracted to you at all. Somebody could have made you feel like they didn't even like you at all or love you. I'm going to tell you, whoever that individual is, there can even be a possibility that somebody even likes you, loves you, cares for you more than you possibly even do them. Like, there could be a thing where somebody is afraid of how much they feel for another person. Who wants to speak to my power of threes? Who wants to speak to my power of threes? With the three of pentacles. And the five of pentacles. Wow. If this person put you in a third party, one, they cho they feel like they chose the wrong person, but they also feel like something is going downhill. Like this person feels like something is going downhill. They want to talk to you about some sort of money problem that they're having, some sort of collaboration that did not go as planned, like, at all. Like, if this, this person wants to talk about, like, a business prospect that they had with a group of people or another person that did not go as planned. If anything, this person is losing more money dealing with a certain group of people or a certain collaboration. This person wants to tell you how much like they, they lost not being around you with the King of Wands. Could definitely be a um, Leo Aries Sag. Heavy Leo with the um, sun at the bottom of the deck. Like this person is losing out, missing out with the Six of Cups. Due to some, due to some sort of choice they made in the past. With the sun still at the bottom of the deck and the King of Cups coming out. Could have been with the Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Like this person could have collaborated with this person, this friend, whoever this person is. And I feel like they started losing with the Page of Wands. What's the Page of Wands? Yeah, they could have invested into this per this with the Five of Cups coming out. If we wanted to come out in reverse, I'm not going to take it. But this person is sad. And if not sad, very deeply like depressed. Or they cry a lot with the Five of Swords. If this person collabed with like people or a specific person, this person feels like they got got. I don't know like in which way, but this person this person feels got. Who wants to speak to my power? Threes. Who wants to speak or talk to my power? Threes. With the hangman. Ah. This person can even feel like exposed. Like, I don't know. This person, they have a lot of secrets. I feel like whoever this person is, like this person even feels like coming towards you and talking to you and really telling the truth about a certain situation, especially with the Ace of Swords. This person is going to feel really, really exposed. And it's like, it's something where they don't want to feel, this person is going to feel really like naked, exposed, literally with the Page, with the page of Cups. This person is going to feel bare. And I feel like it's something that they haven't, I don't even feel like this person's ever done that. Like this person, this person can bottle, they could suppress a lot. Like this person could suppress a lot of things, a lot of secrets, a lot of things they did in the dark. 
they hide a lot of things to the point where I feel like now it's eating them up. Because I feel like if this person crossed you, it's almost like they can't forget it. They can't run away from it. Like they're consumed with the guilt if this person crossed you. Or literally with the tower coming out. Wow. And the hermit. Especially if you closed your energy off to this. But like this person could have crossed you one too many times or just did something that was completely unfit. This person... Mm, could be a um I about to say it could be a hermit it could be a virgo literally with the high priestess at the bottom or a, um aquarius or a pisces you can be extremely extremely psychic as well this person can view you as somebody who is extremely psychic extreme you can have a nice like jaw bone structure as well like this person thinks you are magnificent mm -hmm. I ain't even gonna say that. Somebody could view you as is is her name magnificent Magnus. I don't know. I ain't even about to say it. But somebody could view you as like her type of creature. Uh, Angelina Jolie. I think she was the one that played that character, wasn't it? But somebody views you like her structure, her stature. Somebody finds you to be like beautiful, like completely outstanding, like. Something about a gift. Like, somebody think you are incredible, I feel like. And that's not even to guess you up. That's the energy. I don't know. <laughs> With the eight of wands and the three of wands. Like, this person is waiting for the opportunity to where they feel comfortable. Because I feel like this is a thing where, like, this person... If you have your guard... There's some... Literally, the ten of wands. There's something about somebody having guards up. Like, this person knows it's not going to be easy to talk to you. But they really, really want to. But I feel like this person has a lot to tell. Like this person is like they're making like first I should open up with this and then next I need to talk about this and then this I got to talk about this. And then lastly, I'll open up about how I feel if things go right. Like this person is they overthink a lot. Like they create their own mental prisons as well. Probably half the time. Like this person thinks a lot. They think a lot before like actually doing. I don't know. <laughs> with the death. I feel like this person even talks themselves out of things that are possibly even good. Like this person does too much thinking to the point where they kill situations or can I say kill or they just put situations to rest prematurely. I feel like could be a Scorpio with the Knight of Swords that this person takes actions on the wrong things. I feel like or just not in the right times. Who wants to speak or talk to my power with the Queen of Swords? My uh, power threes. I feel like this person sees you as a match with both the queen and with um the king and queen of swords out here with the knight of swords. They want to take action on you. This person feels like um the two of y'all intellectually are a fit. Like this person feels like they can have conversation with you, riveting conversations, conversations that would have them really thinking, pondering. They love the way you talk. Like this person loves the way you talk. Literally with the lovers. <laughs> they love the way you communicate. Gemini energy. The two of y'all could talk like in the five D with the nine of pentacles. Like the two of y'all could have some sort of like, is it telepathic? Is that what that is? Where, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like you feel each other. I feel like y'all do. I feel like you, whoever this individual is, y'all feel each other. They feel when you're down, you're happy. Like y'all feed each other's energy. Y'all are literally one in the fucking same. I feel like you, whoever this person is, like it, this is an energy where I feel like you and this person are the exact same person, just in two different shells. To come, like y'all couldn't even look alike. Like y'all are completely different, but literally, I feel like y'all are one soul. Like y'all are the same person. I feel like even things that y'all go through, went through, are kind of similar. Like y'all have similarities when it comes to like the way y'all life was like set up, the things that y'all went through could be completely different. In a sense of like, who did it? Who did it? Like, but the lessons were kind of like the same. Like the both of y'all learned the exact same things out of completely different situation. Mm. Let me see. Let me get a few last ones. Can I get some last cards? Who wants to talk to my, with the five of wands? Who wants to talk to my um, power threes? One last card. Who wants to talk to my power threes? Who wants to talk, speak to them? The five of wands just do it all the way off. <laughs> Who wants to speak or talk to my pile? Threes. I'll take it. With the nine of pentacles. The five of ones and nine of pentacles. With the full. I feel like this person. <laughs> what? What's the five of ones with the nine of pentacles? 
The King of Pentacles. This person could be with somebody they have to give to, possibly. Yeah, with the devil. This person could be like in debt to somebody or feel like they are. This could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. It doesn't have to be, or this person supplies money or finances for another person. They keep somebody else afloat, I feel like. And I feel like this person is with the five of wands and the nine of pentacles, because that did throw me off. Because I wanted to honestly say somebody, it felt like somebody was fighting for like their freedom. Somebody could possibly be like locked up. Somebody could have been locked up in the past. Um but I feel like this person is trying to get themselves out of something or at least a, a very low vibration. This person is trying to fight something, fight off something. What's the five of wands? What's the five of wands? The knight of pentacles with the page of cups. This person could even be fighting the urge to come towards you and talk to you. <laughs> Let me be honest. Because with the Page of Cups, this person could be a little timid. This person could even be a little shy. Like, I don't know. It's something about really opening up their, like, heart space that really, like, it shatters them. Like, I don't know. It makes them feel like they're in a, a, um, a room full of mirrors. Like, I don't know what that's about. Like, this person opening up makes them feel because of course i'm just going to make it feel vulnerable but it, it like this person cringes if they talk about like how they feel too much or something when it comes to you, opening up and telling you talking to you and letting you know how they feel with the knight of swords either way y'all <laughs> with the queen of wands i feel like this person is too attracted to you to not eventually talk to you um again could be a leo um Sagittarius, Aries, could even be, like I said, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. I feel like this person, they really, whoever this person is that want to speak to you, they want to tell you, I feel like everything, whatever it is that they need to talk to you about, whatever it is that transpired, but like whatever type of answers you're looking for, like they, they want to tell you. I feel like, and if this is a situation where this could have been, like if this person's able to like you, they do. Like, this is somebody who has feelings for you. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, they find you to be very cute with the green one at the bottom. But power three, I'm not going to force any more messages, honestly. I want to keep, I'm going to pull, let me see. Because it's not, it's not supposed to be over yet. With the judgment and the ten of pentacles. Alright, now I feel a little better with the emperor. Because I'm like, something seems unfinished. But, um... Yeah, with the emperor's Taurus, Libra energy, the judgment and ten of pentacles. Yeah, this person... I feel like this person is... They're being told by, like, downloads. Could even be family members. If you've met certain people in their family. They're being told to talk to you. You could really love animals. I told somebody's told him animal can be a deer. Somebody could really love deers, connect with deer. This person knows they're also being judged right now. I don't mm. like uh, whoever this is that wants to speak to you. They feel like the right, the own. I don't know. Like, I don't know what this person probably did, but they feel like they have to speak to you. Like, this is somebody who has to clear something up. I feel like with you, pile three. This could even be a fan member with the Ten of Pentacles and the Judgment coming up. Could be, right? But Power 3, that was y'all reading. I definitely do hope the message resonated in any way, shape, or form that they were supposed to. And I hope you found these messages useful. Okay, guys? And until next time, stay safe and bye.